Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to the United UMC Mod for Hearts of Iron Farm, your host, Mr. Republic of China Lover. But, we got some comms to go through, and, uh, yeah, this is where we're at right now. We're currently doing reconstruction, though, um, which gives more consumer goods, factory repair speed for about a year. Um, we did do stabilization as well, more political power and weekly stability for a year, as well as we want to do Rudolph KMT corruption, which we can uh, do inter-party investigation and control. Arrest the corrupted officials, you'll be able to lower and remove the KMT corruption national spirit, which is also very good. Um, relinquish a failed business. Oh, wow. Oh, God. But we're going to do the economic miracle next, as we're just kind of hanging out here, but I want to revoke the unequal treaties first. Unequal treaty is the name given to a series of treaties signed with Western powers. Russian Empire and the Empire of Japan during the 19th and early 20th century by the Qing Dynasty, China, after military attacks or military threats by foreign powers. The term unequal treaty became associated with a concept of our century of humiliation, especially the concessions to foreign powers and loss of tariff autonomy through our treaty ports. However, with the rise of Chinese nationalism and anti imperialism, we finally have a chance to revoke these treaties and pursue a dream for a fully united and sovereign China. Yes. And that should help our popular support up here as well. We're at 4 4 for the. For the commies as well, you know they're all dead. Enter party investigation and control. To eliminate corrupt officials and prevent their coming to power, we must take steps to ensure proper control over state apparatus. Yes. Arrest the corrupted officials. There's no time for a slow amount of progress, so the corruption is eating our state from within. And we must make quick moves to get rid of the ones who put their own interests above the states as well. And the KMT or Kuomintang corruption national spirit will be reduced by three levels. That's strong as all heck. Um, as we're still trying to integrate the Ma army, which is cool. We could, of course, choose a Japanese, but why would we ever want to do that? That seems very, uh, not good. And, yeah, overall, not bad. Build some more, uh, millies, because we, by God, we're going to need them. Probably. And we can only get how much political power? Two and a half every single day. Now, we're really lacking a good amount of steel. Not good. So we can do this one. Maybe that one, too. Stability? Ooh, are we losing stability? No. We're fine for now. Improve army situation. We need 300 army XP. That's kind of insane. And we're reducing the influence of foreign investors. And I do want to nationalize everyone else's investments. Um, if they want to start investing in us again, then we're just going to nationalize whatever they got. Which sounds fine to us. So we have our soldiers on the border here. Pick up the Soviet Union. Um, someone, or a couple comments from last video. Try and invest in the puppets buildings so you integrate them. Well, we could, but that'd be kind of a waste. Because the way that you can integrate other Chinese states is by just spending a crap ton of political power. That's literally how you can... I mean, you can also integrate it that way, too, but you'll have to spend political power to integrate the other Chinese warlords, so it's just cheaper to do it like this. 300 political power is faster than trying to do it the normal way, so... Well, it's the unfortunate normal way that we gotta go. Subs? We're getting some better subs? I like better subs. Um, torpedoes? Sure, why not? Because we can. Because why not? Um, we might go back to war with... Japan, maybe? We'll see. I don't know. In the meantime, let's see. We will need some more aluminum as well. We could go state and lobby investments. We're going to nationalize ooh, Soviet investments. I mean, you know, go and do that one. I mean, they're dead. I mean, they're, they are literally dead. So, not sure if we can really do that. Kind of cool, like we could. Yeah, I don't think they can really stop us from nationalizing whatever they invested into us. Especially since we went to war them last time, so... Yeah. These guys should all be... Yeah. 20 combo width. It's not bad. Supply's not very good around here, though. Oh, especially here. Oh, God. Um, oh, you're not connected at all, which makes a lot of sense, actually. Alright, so you're gonna come here to there. You're gonna come from here to there. Oh, so you didn't even make it over there, huh? Let me go from here to there. Make sure we're all connected. Connect, connect, connect. Electronics, the development coverage? Sure. U.S. gains resource rights over Bai Hei? Bai Ha? Hai? Hai? Yeah, probably Hai. I don't know. Cool. So if that's the case, we probably only really need one major army. Um, Maybe. Nationalize them. We'll probably nationalize American investments next to you. After this one, though, uh, Xinjiang Oil Group, Rommel of the East. That sounds like fun, too. Wuhan Iron and Steel. That's pretty good to do. I like that one the most. 
1940 subs. Someone else says, will you do a Communist China campaign in this United UMC mod? That's a very good question. I'm not really sure. Maybe. Maybe. So, um, we'll see. And, well, Wuhan, yes please. And we're going to do for a research slot here. 44, you know what, screw it, just go and do this one anyways. 83 is not bad. After the Wuhan Iron and Steel Corporation. National research funding, because we can. Very nice. I have to just build, 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 because my god, supplies are quite bad on there. Alright, and it's almost done. Another comment was, is this English? Someone else says, uh, why did you not integrate Communist China? It's because they were not a warlord. That's why I kick them out of our faction, because they're not a warlord, then they weren't one of our puppets. They were a completely independent state. Demands immediate compensation. They do. Small price to be paid. Well, we don't think so. We went, this went too far. We're not prepared for this. Uh, we won't back off. Uh, you sure about that? You sure? Um. Okay. Well, good luck with that. Mm, that's not research funding. I don't know. Mm hmm. We're at three still. Their party councils. Honestly, this stuff is all okay. Uh, weekly change is still plus point four. Don't really need to see us too much. We need a flexible line. Came to we'll do this later. Oh, are you kidding me? Horse loans. We need a stable economy. Ah, we're still doing this one. That's why. So we'll do that one very, very soon. And now we're finally trying to stabilize Korea. Or at least that's uh, that's a hope and goal too. Um, might not actually happen, but hey, we'll see. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe we'll not go to war with the Allies. Maybe we'll go to war with Japan. Maybe we'll go to war with the, the Axis and see what happens. So, yeah. Uh, Ambusher, infantry, it's not bad, too. The Axis is a pretty big boy right now. We even have Iraq in there, too. Uh, America's not in the Allies yet, even though it's 43. I guess technically they didn't want to pull it in because they were, uh, well, ready for the Monroe Doctrine, I guess. Not sure how these guys are going to invade, but you know, that's not my problem. Alright, save us in Korea. Very nice. Um, Xinjiang oil groups? Sure, 18 more oil sounds pretty good to me. After this one, though, we're probably going to go ahead and... I want to nationalize more stuff, but I want to integrate, integrate the mod administration. That'd be probably the best one to do next. Um, Industrialized Western China, Southern China, Western oil fields, Southern steel mines. Uh, there's another research slot down here too. China nationwide rural remodeling. Wow. Pursue jet technology. Huh. Well, all right. Not bad. Mm, Magnitogorsk. Yes, over here. Keep training, 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 training. More naval XP would be very nice. Um, we're looking pretty good overall. Oh, there goes the subs, not bad, even though, I don't know, we'll see what happens. Alrighty. Hmm. Rommel of the East. Well, let's go with moder modernized national industry first. Well, let's go ahead and integrate these guys and see what happens. Sejuan. I do want to nationalize more stuff, though. They'll be able to draw their investments. Huh. Well, we'll see. Um, what divisions do they have? And remember, Maurice. Emile Maurice. Uh, they got a lot of divisions, not gonna lie. They got a crap ton of divisions, too. Uh, and guys get, like, no supply here. 
Oh, French Equatorial Africa was puppet today. French West Africa. Advance already. Well, uh, I thought Bulgaria already joined the Axis. Carrier base fighters, 1944. Just going to do that one. It's fine. And I guess I'm not tough to. Use a little bit more steel. Of course, all the following. Well, that's steel. Cities are not bad. Oh, republicanism. I heard this one multiple times. If you're in this game, please go right ahead. Yeah, I want to wait. Okay, so now supplies looking okay. Looking quite okay. Whipping. Not bad. Motorizing, don't have any motorized, and whatever. We got plenty of resources for now. So now we're gonna spend a crap ton of army XP. Gotta go 40 combo with that minimum. Nice. Um, yeah, 40 combo with why not? Screw it. Nice. Aluminum. Yeah, we can use some aluminum now. I did say I want to integrate the guys, but whatever. We get enough as it is right now, anyways. Yeah, now we need more supplies, aren't we? And that's why I put this thing over here, too, because we definitely need it. Republicanism. Oh, well, I gotta wait for that one. So, let's go and grab this one, too. Kieran, aluminum plants. Yay! More medium tanks, perhaps? Sub holes. Oh crap, we don't like nothing here. Well, I'm gonna have to wait for that stuff then. Get here, cast three, because why not? Cast dose? Oh well. So we're integrating them already. Will this piss off America so much that they go to war with us? Nationalize their investments? Uh, how about German investments? I kinda wanna do American investments. Let's, let's do that. Sounds like fun. Got a couple more military factories, would be very nice. Torpedo 3 is very good. Turkey, Turkey, oh. That will complete, that is dangerous. I guess they're, oh, look at that. They're already in Sicily. It's not bad. I don't think we have just enough stuff yet. Oh my god, we need so much already. It's not even funny. Alright, yeah, I kind of figured that would happen. There you go. Now we need way more. Way, 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 way more millies. Well, that's more like it. Nice. Corral aluminum plants. Um, a neck foreign conscription. No, we're good. Well, let's do Rommel East. Now I'll do industrialized Western China first, and then we'll do Rommel the East. Sun Li Jian is a graduate of Virginia Military Institute, and one of the most talented generals NRA has to its disposal. His military achievements earned him the laudatory nickname Rommel the East. His new or first army is known as the best army under heaven, and is considered to be the best fighting force in all of China. Nice. Forty-five. Oh, actually. I should have us out a little bit, right? You training, we're nowhere close to where we really should be. Uh, yes, keep doing that. Force loans, well, we already have, uh, we're pretty good. Now, next up will be full integration of Bijai B. Sanma. And we have a level one radar there. Moves, oh, okay then. Oh, god, god, that's not good. Syria. Well, it's up to there, not in the Allies, but still. Um, America, would you like to join? Suspend the persecution. Neutrality, lend lease, science haven. 
Um... Let's see. Death Shroud's Western China. Hmm. A Chinese Armor Brigade. Well, that wouldn't be too bad to do as well, as we're slowly trying to get everything under wraps. Of course, there's nothing for industrialized Southern China. Expand Western oil fields. Expand Southern steel mines. And Chinese nationwide rural remodeling wouldn't be bad either to do. Uh, path and naval dominance of the Pacific. Pretty good overall, and there's not much we can do here. Use Chinese soldiers, no. Relinquish of failed businesses. Sin Kiang compensation. Extensive anti-Japanese war propaganda. Initiate active resistance in Manchuria. And now, everybody, we are, of course, continuing our journey on July 3rd, 1945. In which we are... I've actually done a lot of the focuses here already. We've done all these that we can do. Um, of course, we're going to force enact or enact forced conscription, but... Uh, we're kind of okay, as we're slowly training our soldiers to be super soldiers. 40 combat with, not bad. A lot of defense, especially if we want to take on the Axis. At this point, Japan, they've had a civil war, and they just won their civil war again. So, they're very democratic by being a bunch of fascists over there. But, you know, whatever. Sign of Japanese war. Hopefully they don't attack us. Um, but, yeah, I don't definitely want to do that. Let's see. Turkey lost, and most of it's owned by the Germans now. Uh, and the D-Day has not gone according to plan. So... Yeah, not great. I guess in the meantime, we could try to go to war with these guys, see what happens. If we do well, great. If not, oh well. Try to build up more military factories, try to get some actual medium tanks. Uh, plenty of equipment, though, which is quite good, even though we need more factories, though. And we're building up quite a few subs. I like them subbies. There goes the French commune, which is kind of glitched right now. It keeps spawning for some reason, so. <clears throat> Look at all these subs. Beautiful. Uh, one, two, three. Go ahead if you want. Uh, actually, you know what? I don't want you to do that. I want a different commander. Lu Shen. Enemy or cheat chance? I don't like that either. Uh, part of the fleet. Uh, more damage, less defense. That's actually not terrible to do. Uh, yeah, choose you. See ya. Visible blink's not bad. Go grab some of that too. And we just integrated Sin Kiang. Um, I don't really want to save their army. Take you to you two and say goodbye. You guys come over here just in case. You take this guy. We could probably go towards the bed as well. They'll probably join the Axis, but whatever. Go and do that. And we need some supply through here, because my god, it's going to be god awful. Go there. There we go. And there we go. Pan, yes. So we got a way to do examination yawn as well. No, I did read this one. Corruption is inevitable in any government. Effective government requires an effort to keep it in check. <clears throat> which I did read before, so. Examination. For thousands of years, the Chinese bureaucrats were selected in a stringent examination. While the necessary text may have changed, the principle remains the same. <coughs> so I'll finally remove, in 1945, ineffective bureaucracy, so we get 25% more recruitable population, more stability, better surrender limit, more research speed, and more encryption, which would be very helpful. And we do have seven research slots and a cup of coffee to keep us nice and tastily warm. Veteran NCO instructors. Uh, Geodes not bad. And each generation is okay. Kamikazes at this point I think will be okay. Follow-up. Flight mission maximum. Air Force, Army. Pretty good stuff overall. We are a spy master, even though I'm not sure how much it is to master around here, but whatever. We're getting all that plane stuff done. Up next, after industry... Recon? Sure, I like more recon for it, guys. Better anti-air, literally just because I don't know how hard the Germans are going to hit us. They're probably going to hit us very hard. So... Um, Italy... I already nationalized all the stuff from Germany itself. Flexible line, streamlined line. Uh, I'll talk about that later. Six divisions plan. Military pretty in Shangxi. We're okay. So, wait. Oh. Um, wait, can we not... Oh, integrate. full integration of Shang-Chi. There we go. That's what we want to see. Because right now we get over roughly four political power a day, which is insane. Of course, we're near the end of the campaign, so... I just want to see if we can hold out against the Germans and for how long. Because the division is pretty thick. They're pretty thick. And I'm putting anti-air down just in case, because I'm sure the Germans are going to be very, 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 very strong. Which is fine. Whatever. Ah, three tank divisions. Nice. Good stuff. Good stuff. Oh. 
There we go. Boom, boom. Boom, to boom. Anything else? Yes, carrier cast is fine. Iran joined the. Oh, are you kidding me? Well. Yes, come down here too. Oh god, that means the, the Raj falls. That means, oh god, that's not good. You have a spy right there. Spy right there was not bad, actually. It's actually pretty decent. Um, give me two is examination yawn yet? God dang it, come on. Uh, that's not good for us. Rocket artillery, anti air, of course. 45, get some of that too. Keep looking back there just in case. You guys are doing fine. Get down there quickly, quickly, quickly. Uh, honestly, I might just convert all these, these guys to just tanks. Because these guys are not bad. They're 40 combat width. We're still using some lights, which are not great. It's fine for now. War propaganda. Uh, we could do that. Nationalize German investments. We already did. Nationalize it, Italian investments. Yeah. Nice. We got enough manpower for that. I'm not concerned about losing too many ships here. Alright, so we can go to war now. You guys can continue training as well if you really wanted to. Um, when do we have to go World War by the November 7th of November, which is fine. Police forces, that's garrisons. You guys, you're looking alright. Not great, but looking alright. If we need to, I'm not sure how fast we can make these, but at least a little bit will be very beneficial. And my god, do we need more planes? Yo, yeah. That's why I threw on a crap ton of anti air. There you go. Lots of close air support. Which is very nice. We dug in, hopefully. 20% uh, entrenched. Got some forts already. Nice. Very nice. Got some radar down here, too. Some anti air. Not too bad. Not bad. I want the Germans to come up all the way to the line and see what they can do about it. Right now, we did finish our land doctrine, which is very good. Oh, we did not We did not yet. But I'm trying to save it and increase the army situation, because it's, it's on okay. It's on okay level. We're still on excellent levels, huh? Carry naval bomb with the threes. There you go. Very nice. Propaganda efforts. Yeah. Doing all this would be nice, too. All right, well, hope we don't completely lose here. Let's save just in case, and watch what happens. Can we actually, like, win against these guys? Could we? Oh, I didn't give you a general, whoops. Um... You looking pretty, pretty cool, my my dude. Adaptable. That's gonna be helpful. Did we actually win here? Um. Iraq's been called in. Nothing here yet. It would be peace. Well, there's no point in doing that then now. I'm surprised I haven't asked us to join the. Um. Faction yet, but whatever. Losses. 37,000 versus... 120,000 so far, not bad, but still. Which is Reich. That's a lot of manpower. That's a crap ton amount of manpower. Eventually we will stop the attack, because we just can't, we can't, like, just beat them up like that, so. We'll do the best we can for now, though. Sure, guys. Sure. Ace pilot promoted. Very nice. Come over here. Grab some naval mission. Oh. Naval stuff. Just in case. All this area needs to be guarded. You never know. Hello. You're already in battle. You guys should probably stop too. Hey. Hey. 
Doing repair. Fine for now. And how are we doing over here? We're still doing okay. Ish. Supplies like normal are gonna be god awful. That's why you can if you do it like this, but up into two little ones, um, you can save time. It's gonna take more production costs, but whatever. Also new. We're doing relatively okay though. I do want to save that for what? War bonds, not bad. Nationalizing everything. It'd be not bad to do. Group armed situation. Full integration of Shang-Chi. And 45, we're gonna grab some more of that too. So that says we're green though. Just air stuff on. But that's like 300. Yeah, that's 300 army XP. Which is insane. It's honestly probably better just to finish off the line doctrine first. Yeah, get more defense and organization first. Boot anti air, not bad. Because we are using anti air as well. So. Within our divisions. We're good. Go into this one too. Just because that's very helpful for us. <clears throat> Basic armor protection, sure, why not? Thirty-two thousand, huh? Not bad so far. So far, we can keep this up, though. Honestly, I'll probably just use the consequence for all this legacy. Send Doctor Sen Yat Sen. End of the radical decisions. Uh, uh yeah, no. We won't back off. Uh, as the Japanese are being pushed out of the Asian mainland and communists are no longer an at least a recognizable problem, there's no need for a man as radical as Chiang to be in power. He must either step down or adapt to the new situation in China. We no longer need the Red General. We prevailed and now we will rebuild. Yeah. No cost too great and did not be paid by Chiang if he secures achieving his and his nation's goals. That and his ruthlessness, cunning and will. Earn him and nickname the Red General. Very cool. Alright, so now they're starting to attack us again as well. Um. How about we go ahead and hold first? Because supplies are going to be just god awful around here. So, um, go right there, too. Give us some time to really build ourselves up here. As much as I love getting more political power, um, do we have continuous focus? Yes. Let's go and do some construction engineering. Keep taking all them subs or convoys. We are we have the subs. We are the subs. Divisions outlast anybody that needs to be outlasted. So losses so far, not bad. We've lost about hundred thousand, which means nothing basically. We recruit fifteen thousand every month. The UK's lost four million already. Not sure what America's up to, but you know what? Even though I'm, even though I know, we all know, oh, it is lost quite a few, um, that they're suffering attrition up here. The Germans and such have more than enough equipment in stockpile. Beautiful guys, good job. Uh, oh, oh, we integrated Shang Chi. I'm probably gonna regret this. Give me half. I'm gonna delete him. Oh, eight, oh my gosh, eighty nine. I'll save one army from them. Ah, oh, some crap. There you go. There you go. Touching us a little bit. Trying to hurt us. See how it is. As you can tell, there's a lot of stuff that's got to get done. Um. Improve army situation. I do want to do that one. We have 98%. Probably because killing war heroes, maybe, maybe not. Weekly change still plus 0.4, so I'm not too worried about that. We close out of that one for now. Mm, Turkey. And this line's still holding very well, very nicely. We got here? No, not too much. I would like to try another attack, but I just want to wait until we have something else here. So off screen, I'm probably going to go and just do just do this focuses because I don't want to wait. 
or at least do this one because we have to be at peace with this one so oh we've got to be China Democratic League well so be it political actions reinstate the inter-party coordination council oh we get suspended as well interesting because now we got this that's going to lower this support and it's going to go up just a little bit more at a time oh I didn't even get these guys yet no oh. stability consumer goods democracy support I mean we could Damage garrisons wouldn't be bad either. Do we have no one for... Oh, we can't choose any of this stuff. Oh, yeah, we can't... We literally can't choose any of that stuff. That sucks. And both these suck. I'm not going to lower deck size ever. So, popular figurehead. More stability would be nice, but we're already maxed out pretty much. Consumer goods would be good, but we're already doing really well. Um, you know what? We need them for now. We can always change them out later. So, 45%. Do we not have recon? Huh. Let's grab this one first at least. So, we'll see what happens.
All right, everyone. I apologize for that, but I kind of gave up on taking these guys out. It took forever to do. It tells you, 1947. Probably should have, you know, quit earlier, but whatever. Um, eventually, America did join the Allies. Uh, actually, the UK peaced out, and then America joined the Allies, and then they declared war on the, UK, on the uh, Italians. So, France exists. The French state does. Um, I guess we own Spain too now. So, uh, other than that, uh, the Japanese faction's back here. Korea joined them. Kind of weird, but hey, whatever. Um, I do apologize for not showing you everything. You just, I got tired of it. I got bored. So um, we did the end of, the, uh, end of the radical decisions, preservationism. I, did, I cheated for a denounced treaty of new territories, of course. <clears throat> Bush Western, Westerners out of China, as well as use the prosperity of autonomous cities as well. Um, we also see, sought allied support. We did get it. Oh, we did get these states. Oh, I didn't realize we got uh, Hong Kong as well. But we did not get the French territory, which. Doesn't make any sense. But hey, that's going to be the end of the campaign. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.